do a video of how I hook up the trailer. You can uh, watch it, you know, a couple times. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any further questions or if maybe there's something I missed that I need to go back and uh, edit. So let me know if you uh, find this helpful. Enjoy. All right, here are the things that I use when I'm hooking up this trailer. What I have is this little 23 footer. So I have my impact gun to tighten the lugs, lock for the coupler, torque wrench, the saddles for the weight distribution bars, a, a small strap, sockets to tighten the lug nuts, electrical tape to just make sure the wires are um, secure. You could use that or a wire tie. The weight distribution bars and your 12 volt deep cycle battery. Make sure when you do this that you have the wing nuts. Make sure that the battery has the threaded post because that's where you will, that's where you're going to hook up. Okay. Now the battery box that I got is the larger battery box. I would suggest getting a smaller one. Sometimes this extra does not fit in there. Okay, I'll be back. As you saw, this one right here was not tightened up enough even with the impact. So that's why you always use your torque wrench. Your paperwork will tell you what to torque these at. This one here is 110 pounds, foot pounds. Alright, when you're looking them over, look for any kind of scratches, like that's just a silicone, but this right here is the screw fell out. Now, that's not driver damage, but I want to make sure they know about it. I mean, we're going all the way to Oregon, so, you know, if this flops in the wind too much, it could damage it a little bit further. So I will make sure that they want me to take this. But you can rub your finger across it. Usually you can rub your, your thumbnail across it. If you feel a bump or a gouge, if you feel a bump, then it's probably caulk. If you feel a gouge, then that's a scratch. So this is why I bring the electrical tape. Uh, so I can tape this up, secure it to the frame. All right, you have to remove this tape off of the red. Red is positive and the black wire will be negative. Okay, we have battery hooked up. Red on the positive, black on the negative. Now what I do is go inside the, go inside the coach and make sure there's no lights on. Just a little wear your battery down. All right, got the lid secure. 
got the, the strap securing it. Uh, make sure you go over the uh, bracket. And I like to use the orange straps. Uh, I've heard that DOT, they're looking to make sure that this battery is secure. So I want to make sure when I go through a weight station that they can see that it's on there. Okay. All right. So now we're going to. Okay, now I got the, the coupler onto the hitch. I'm going to raise it up so that the back end of the truck comes up about two to three inches. And what that does is that will preload our load bars. So I put my saddle on. Okay, so I have the saddle on the frame and you want it even with your, with your chain. I'm slide it up just a little bit so it's even and just give it about a quarter of a turn. You don't want to you don't want to tighten it down too much. One you will scratch the paint on here, but also if you keep cranking down on it, you'll just poke a hole right through it. So now I'm going to load up the load bars. We'll do the same for the other side. You want the amount of links on your load bar to be the same on both sides. And keep your fingers back from it when you're tightening all of this down. Now we can lower. And that keeps the truck, keeps the back end from squatting down. Once that back end squats down, what happens is it takes weight off of the front tires. So your, your front end starts to become lighter and your front wheels will start to tow in a little bit. And that will lead to uh, premature tire wear. So I'm going to go ahead and ram, put this jack ram the rest of the way up. And we'll continue on after that. So I bring it all the way up 
to the stop. So if you hit something on the road, the hitch should catch pretty much anything. And it won't, won't break this off. I know some people, they take this off. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'll probably leave, it, leave this one on. So now you can see the truck really does not squat. And I know this is a small trailer. It's only uh, 40, 4,400 pounds, but my truck is setting even. And that's what you want. Now I do rotate these tires about every five to 7,000. Um, and I have 40,000 miles on these tires already. And I'll still get, I'll probably still get another eight to 10 out of it. But this is middle of July, so I will change it. I'll change them out by winter time. One other thing to check is check your tire pressure. So to look at this tire, to me it looked low. Cold pressure is 65 pounds, it says it on the, on the tire. But it is actually, it has 70 pounds in it. So I'm gonna check it again with another tire gauge that I have. Uh, also, I carry one of those little um, 12 volt air compressors that you plug into your cigarette lighter, 12 volt outlet. So I use that and uh, that is, that's great. Uh, sometimes it's a pain in the, the butt trying to line up your truck close enough to the tire where you can put in air. Uh, you always want to keep looking. I just found this black spot right here. And I don't think, see how, my, see how my nail catches that? That is a very small scratch. And I don't know if, if they would say that's driver damage. I'll get a paper towel and wipe it off. But my goodness, whoever, whoever caught this. So, um, but for a you know a, a small trailer, it's really it's not a not a bad looking little unit. There is a case of load bars not being installed. You can see the back end is sagging. All right, so now we're going to hook up our lights. You always want to check your plug. Make sure that the plug and the cord, it wasn't drug along the ground. Plug that in. Here is your breakaway. Here comes the train. Here comes the breakaway cable. This has to be in a straight line, so it can't have, it can't be wrapped around the jack or anything. Put that in. Your safety chains. DOT requirement is that the chains need to be crossed. And the reason it's crossed is if this fell, if the trailer falls off of the hitch with both of these crossed, it'll help keep the trailer steady. Now what I do with my lock is I take my power cord, and I lock it. All three of them in there. So... I know this is not going to drag. This is it's not it's not bound up anyway. On the 2022 Ram, I'm not sure about other years, but if you scroll down to your trailer tow options, there's trailer tow. You have your odometer, which I always reset so I can tell how far I've gone. Your trailer gain, so when you push on the brake, how active the trailer brake is. 
and then you can do a light check. As you can see, turn signal, right turn signal, we'll check backup lights, we'll check high beams. So we'll go check the front of the truck and we'll check the back of the truck. And also, also the trailer. So there are high beams, regular headlights, right turn, left turn signal, right turn signal. The back of the truck, tail light works, tail light, turn signal, turn signal, reverse light, and brake light. Okay, so now I can see that the side marker lights are working, the running lights up top of the trailer are working. And a brake light. Turn signal. Turn signal. And brake light. And my running lights are working. The next thing you do is double check all of the cabinets and make sure that all of the compartments are locked up. Pull the bumper caps. And we'll put those inside. And right inside the door here this is really a nice little trailer they have the table up there in the bunk but it's really a nice nice little unit and then take your key and lock it i have heard that you can get stowaways in there and then just always look over the unit for anything that could be considered driver damage this one actually is looking pretty good other than that screw that fell out i don't think that's going to be a big deal all right we'll go start doing paperwork Thanks for watching hope you found it interesting uh leave a comment below i'd appreciate it like it um subscribe if you haven't let me know what other kind of videos you'd like us to uh to put on here okay thanks for watching see you next time